Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm T. Randall Smith. I'm a resident of Tyler, Texas, but I'm here representing um, the uh, denominations and uh, religious communities that make up Texas Impact, which is a interfaith organization here in the state um, that seeks to help develop public policy. Um, we represent Jewish, uh, Muslim, and uh, n nearly all of the Christian denominations. Just, this, just today, <clears throat> the bishops of the Roman Catholic bishops, the Lutheran bishops, the United Methodist bishops, members of the uh, Baptist General Convention of Texas, um, members of the uh, Episcopal clergy uh, here in our state, as well as a uh, number of imams and number of rabbis, issued a statement. And I would just like to read just a portion of that. And then I have a comment I'd like uh, uh, to make about immigration policy. The religious leaders say we urge Texas legislators to provide guidance and leadership to our state by rejecting policies that could encourage discrimination, co-opt local law enforcement, or scapegoat immigrants. As policymakers and leaders, Texas legislators have the opportunity and responsibility to guide our whole community into a future of compassion, gratitude, and mutual respect. By affirming the dignity of every person, including those who migrate, lawmakers can help the people of Texas move from fear to respect. And we think that that is a way in which we should proceed. It, it happens to be the case that at the Houston Natural Museum, Natural History Museum, there's, uh, there is now presently a um, display on Galveston as an immigrant uh, gateway. Um, it's a wonderful exhibit. I would encourage those of you who may have an opportunity to be in Houston to do that. We went to see it, my wife and I, because my wife's family immigrated uh, through Galveston before they finally settled in southern Illinois. They came from Switzerland. Um, one of the things that caught my attention there was part of what I think is our concern about the legislation. It seems that at the time, uh, up until 1913, when new legislation was passed, the person who made the decision who got into this country or not was one person who was at the station in Galveston who determined whether persons met the criteria for immigration that they were healthy, that they brought in no uh, communicable diseases, and that they had a possibility of having a, um, uh, a job, uh, that they, that a skill that they could use. At that time in the United States, we had no policy about keeping people out. They just had to meet certain criteria in order to get in. It seems that this one person had a problem with Jewish immigrants. And of all of the Jewish immigrants that came in from Eastern Europe, he denied entrance for them for all but about 10% of them. Only the ones who had a rabbi, who was a very famous rabbi in Galveston, Texas, who would maybe be uh, alerted by a family member who was on the outside and could go in and uh, argue, would get them allowed in. To give to one individual that kind of power to make a decision about whether a person is going to be held, sent back, all because they may harbor a prejudice is one of the most important concerns that the religious community has. Thank you for your time.